until the year 2000, nobody really had an answer to the Mazda Miata, the perfect Japanese sports car. But Honda certainly offered an amazing rival, one of my favorites. This one here is the first year of S2000 called the AP1. They revved a little bit higher to almost 9,000 RPM. But this one has been radically customized. It has the wide body kit. It's been lowered. It's a lot of that fast and furious look that you would see back in the day. Now. They are definitely modern classics, big collectibles. So when you see one as clean as this 2004, this is the AP2, so it's a little bit lower revving, but much more refined. And this one, well, it looks brand new in the wrappers. Zuka blue metallic, blue interior, and this one only showing 26,000 miles. I think you'll be surprised. These were affordable at one point, but now they are becoming hot collectibles. We've got a 2004 Honda S2000 convertible, one of the cars that Tyler Hoover was previewing and talking about just a little while ago. Beautiful car in Suzuka blue. My son had one just this color. Notice a little bit of difference between the front bumper cover and the, the hood and the rest of the body. It's been repainted, but Tyler, if you could hold the hood, I'm going to show where the VIN number is on 10 different places on this car on different body parts. So you can verify, yes, this is the original bumper cover. It does match all the other numbers. And you want to see all 10 of those. There's the one for the hood uh, when you are buying one of these. You can see while we have the hood up, the four-cylinder engine mounted behind the front axle. So even though it's front engine, it's almost mid-engine here. $31,000 for that 2004 Honda S2000 to those folks up in the skybox right there.